Welcome YouTube and fellow Star Wars collectors. On this episode of Toys Are The Way, I will be unboxing Antok Merrick's X-Wing Fighter. This is a newly released vehicle for the Vintage Collection and I'm excited to have found it in stores so soon. If you're new to the channel and like what you see, be sure to hit that like button and remember to subscribe for more future videos. With that being said, let's get started. After a long morning of checking several different targets, I finally got lucky and was able to secure myself a pair of Blue Leader Antok Merrick's X-Wing Fighter. Many collectors have been looking forward to this vehicle for several months, but there have been some concerns as well. Target removed the item from their online store and app, and Hasbro has only stated that it will be on shelves this fall. I checked several stores, spoke with a few employees who had no answers, and was fortunate enough to find a pair towards the end of my trip. With that being said, I hope that Target will make this available for online purchase and help alleviate the stress of endlessly searching for our collectibles. I'm excited to have this X-Wing and add it to my collection of other vehicles. I look forward to using it for photography and setting it up in a variety of different scenes and dioramas. But now let's get everything out of the way, take a look at the box, and open it up and see what's inside. Taking a look at the box, we have the vehicle nicely displayed in what appears to be a Yavin based setting. I think the X-Wing looks fantastic displayed like this. My favorite part of the box is that Hasbro decided to include Chopper in the corner over here. Chopper is one of my favorite droids and characters from the Rebel series and hopefully we get him into the Vintage Collection one day. Also seen on the box are the power droid that we've gotten recently, R2-D2, C-3PO, and this random droid from an Entertainment Earth exclusive pack years ago. Who I just so happen to have right here. So if Hasbro ever decides to finally make Chopper, I will have all the figures that are shown on this box. We have a nice Star Wars Rogue One logo with the Kenner one down below and a nice circular emblem letting us know that there is a figure included inside. The back of the box is pretty much the same with the Vintage Collection logo, Hasbro and Disney down below. Now for the very exciting part of opening the box. I am excited to see how this card is packed inside. I can already see my card right there. So let's carefully open this before we do much else. Here you can see how the card is placed inside. And the card looks great. I'm really excited that this is in good shape and doesn't have any major damage to it. The figure looks really good on that name pill color. Really happy with this. It's also exciting that they include the figure. It hasn't been done in a while with other X-Wings, so this is a very exciting thing. Now let's get the rest of the ship out of the box. And here are our instructions. Assembling these is pretty simple. I've done it several times and most likely you have too. So as you can see inside, it seems like Hasbro has abandoned using plastic bags to put the wings and extra accessories in, and that's a great thing. You know, they're trying to move away from excessive plastic and stuff like that, so that's a really good move. I'm happy to see that. Looks like you can just easily take this out. That's looking really cool. Just secured with tape. Open that up. And we have a set of wings. And I imagine in this we also have the other part. So here we have the other wings. And here we have what looks like the torpedo. And the rest of the cannons. And then 
in this final box is the nose of the ship. Slides up very easily. And that's all that's included in there. So it's really cool that, you know, they're using less plastic. This is much more sustainable. So that's a good move by Hasbro. So now that we have everything out of the box, let me put this thing together really quick and take a look at it. So here we have the X-Wing fully assembled and it's looking really fantastic. If you take a look at the weathering and paint applications, it's nicely weathered, looks very dirty. I'm a big fan of how this looks. I really appreciate the small details and the decals that you can see. Some more on the side of the ship over here. That's really, really cool attention to detail. Really nice job by Hasbro. If you take a look at the back, it's nicely weathered on this engine area here. I'm a big fan. I kind of wish they would have incorporated some of that same dirt and grime up to the top. I think it could have used a little bit more there, but it definitely has some nice application on top as well. You can see here too, it's really good detail throughout. A look at the bottom wings have nice nice grime on them i think these engine parts too could have used a little bit more of a darker color i haven't really studied this in comparison to what's seen in the film but yeah this is a really good job by hasbro cockpit closes and it fits very nice and snug there's no major gaps or anything yeah it's good stuff right there the landing gear works very well. Snaps into place. And it keeps the vehicle up nice and sturdy. The only X-Wing I've ever had trouble with that is I have Wedge and Teeley's X-Wing from the older Legacy collection and that one falls over a bit. But recent Luke Skywalker one and the Biggs X-Wing fighter don't really have any of those issues. so. I think with these vintage collection releases, they've done a good job of fixing that problem. These don't ever fall over on me. You can see the front landing mechanism. It goes up. Very nice. Click that in place. I know some people aren't a big fan of this wing mechanism, but it doesn't bother me. And I know it should be a little bit more open as seen in the films, but you can always open it yourself a little bit more like this. and no problem it's never bothered me and then I don't know this one actually looks pretty wide to me the cockpit area just pops right on out so that it's easier to fit the pilot inside that snaps back in place pretty easily targeting computer comes out goes back in looking cool so let's take a quick look at the figure itself and here we have Antok Merrick out of the package. And I must say, I am such a big fan of this blue jumpsuit. I think it's such a cool color. I'm a big fan of blue, so naturally blue leader was something that I was going to be very excited about. The helmet is definitely a little too large and doesn't fit too snug on the figure. But I do have a fix for that. I'm just going to use a tiny bit of Elmer's tack in there and that'll stop that. So here you can see I applied a little bit of that Elmer's tack in the back and then just put that in there and a lot more snug. So the figure itself is basically the Luke X-Wing pilot with a couple small retools on the arms. You can see his gloves. I think these gloves look really cool. I'm a big fan of how those look. You can see some detailing around his helmet remarkable job they can do at the scale on that helmet it looks so good yeah this figure is super cool it's got great articulation you see it's got a nice wrist with a hinge he's got ball jointed hips but you got to move the these little suspender things a little out of the way but once you move them up the thigh He's got great range of motion. Joint there. Ankle. Comes with this blaster. It would be really nice if they added a holster 
which they never do for pilots, but I'm not complaining. Really happy to have this. And as I mentioned earlier, I was lucky enough to pick up two of these, so I do have a carded sample as well. Really happy, although I'm so tempted to open this figure because I just really like this blue jumpsuit. I'll have to maybe make some customs or hopefully they'll come out with blue squadron pilots that he can command. That would be a really nice addition to the line. Let's take the helmet off real quick. Take a look at the face sculpt. Looking at his face, there's some excellent emphasis on wrinkles and wear and tear lines. Um, his likeness closely matches what's seen in the film and on the card. I'm super impressed with this figure. The paint application on his hair and mustache are done really well, and the color looks spot on. I can't get over how impressive this figure is. And let's quickly take a look at the card. Here we have Antok Merrick on his Rogue One card with the Kenner logo down below. A great image of the character holding his helmet. The figure looks awesome inside the bubble. I love the orange name pill color contrasting with the blue. Cannot go wrong there. His name looks good on that color as well. Just awesome stuff. This is a really good looking card. Got a cool image of the X-Wing just kind of like off in the distance. With the ladder. Really nice stuff. He's VC204 in the line. You can see some of the amazing figures that we've gotten recently. Boba Fett, Darth Maul, Ahsoka. The Jawa is really cool. We got Arc Trooper Echo. Princess Leia. Still a really cool figure. This whole section right here. Great stuff. We got Grogu the Child. Remarkable work recently from Hasbro. Super fantastic work for the vintage collection. Now, whenever I get a new figure or vehicle, my favorite part is setting them up in a scene or diorama, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do next. I hope you've enjoyed this review and watching my behind the scenes diorama setup. Please feel free to leave your thoughts and suggestions in the comments below. Are you excited to see a different color X-Wing in the vintage collection? Do you think Hasbro should focus on releasing more characters from Rogue One? I'd love to hear about it. And please remember to smash that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. It really helps and is greatly appreciated. Thanks everyone and I'll see you on the next one.